Hey guys, I hope everything is well. So this is a Friday afternoon vlog, kind of informal, hence the Mickey Mouse shirt. All right, so let's jump into it. A question that came up, and I don't know if I answered this on public uh, social media or not, but apparently Microsoft re recently announced that they were no longer going to support PHP on Windows. So should you be concerned if you are a PHP developer? Well, if you are an experienced PHP developer, I know you're not concerned whatsoever. Why? Because 99% of the time, I guess, and just a guess, but a vast majority of time, if somebody is deploying PHP live, they're gonna be doing it on a Linux server, not a Microsoft server. So it's really a non-issue. Uh, for that major reason in of itself. All that it tells you that Microsoft is no longer supporting PHP or building PHP rather on Windows is uh, that there's probably not too many people using PHP on Windows in the first place. Now, you have to understand Microsoft has a very open um, disposition now vis-a-vis -vis programming languages. In the old days, Microsoft was very centric towards Microsoft technologies and products. These days, they've kind of opened up and realized that they can embrace uh, different frameworks, languages, operating systems. Heck, you can install Linux on Windows now pretty easily, apparently. Uh, Microsoft is making that happen. So if you do want to run PHP, you need to run to PHP in the environment that you're, uh, when you're developing PHP, rather, you need to run PHP in the environment that you're likely going to be deploying your PHP. And that, of course, is on a Linux server. So you could install Linux on Microsoft, and I haven't looked at the details how that's done, but basically Microsoft is backing that to make it easy. And then you could just run your PHP off of that Linux installation that's running within Windows. And there you go, Bob's your uncle, problem solved. So it's not an issue, I wouldn't be too concerned. If you look at the latest PHP statistics, usage statistic statistics, depending on which uh, one you look at, PHP is typically in the top five, top six most popular, widely used programming languages in the world. Now that's programming languages. You know that something like 30% or 35% of websites run PHP in some form or another. Typically, of course, that's WordPress or TruePow or Joomla, doesn't matter. As I've said in other videos, WordPress is this massive ecosystem. You know the WordPress um, business, I forget what it's called all of a sudden, automatic or I forget what it's called, but they run WordPress.com, which is a giant hosting thing. It's kind of like a Wix or a Squarespace. Uh, they predate that. And that's like a, a multi-billion dollar business. Well, at least it's a billion dollar business as far as I know. So um, PHP is not going anywhere simply because of WordPress. Uh, and there's so much work in the WordPress world, so if you want to go freelancing, uh, etc., so many jobs are related to WordPress. So that's not anything to ignore. Now, if you want to become a game developer or you want to get into AI programming, of course, that's cool. Go do that if there is the, a demand. Again, once again, I harp on this over and over again because I think most people are here to learn how to... Uh, monetize coding skills, basically how to turn coding skills into a money-making situation, whether you get a high-paying job, freelance, or you start your own SaaS. I've done all. Um, so I, I talk a lot from that point of view. Again, one thing I want to hammer home is you got to look at the local job opportunities. You know, Again, people watch this channel, they know this is the case. They know this is the case. Uh, but it's so important, people seem to forget about that. Anyway, yeah, so back to PHP and Windows. Yeah, Microsoft's not gonna develop, and oh, one last point about that, just because Microsoft is not gonna develop anymore, I can guarantee you that some other companies are gonna step up to do it. Remember, PHP is all done for free, right, by companies, you know? So uh, if there's a need for PHP on Windows, some, nerd, some sort of native implementation, uh, you can be sure somebody's gonna do it. But I don't think there is, because now you can run Linux, on Windows uh, pretty easily, Windows 10. And uh, so I don't see why you'd care about uh, running PHP directly on Windows. Since this is a Friday vlog, I'll let you know uh, what's coming up. I'm actually starting to work on a new course. I started working on it a while back and I got sidelined with uh, business. 
But the new course is actually uh, something unusual, something unexpected. People in the mentoring group know what it is. And I actually believe, personally, and I've been building courses since the early 2000s, I believe this is going to be my most important work overall. I think this is the course, this is the trainings, if you will, that people are going to think about five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So um, I'm excited to get this rolling out. It's all outlined and planned. I just got to find the time to uh, work out some of the little details and then I can start recording. And it's going to kind of be like my freelancer and entrepreneur course where it's going to be a combination of uh, ebook plus video and audio segments like this. And there you go. Uh, what's it going to be on? It's not going to be on technology, in fact. It's going to be on uh, something that underlies all of this kind of stuff. This training is going to affect your ability to get jobs, your ability to learn more quickly. It's going to affect your ability to start a business, start freelancing. It will help you lose weight. It will help you even get a date. So there you go. Uh, I'll leave it at that. And... Uh, Again, this is Friday I'm recording this, so if you're watching this on Friday, have a great weekend.